Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Amir Hamzah bin Haji Kalong My ID is 23B0908 My topic is pros and cons of ijtihad jamai Also known as collective ijtihad My name Muhammad Khairul Nazrin bin Arini Student ID 23B0814 Topic ijtihad jamai Collective ijtihad Pros and cons. Expression that a competent scholar who is capable of deducing a rule of law from the Quran and Hadith can respond to a new issue, new problem. The term collective ijihad or ijihad jama'i comprises two combined words, ijihad and jama'i. Literally, ijihad means to strive, and the verb make every effort, take pens, exert oneself, and work too hard in doing something. Therefore, with the mechanism of ijtihad, new problem that arise without the presence of Sharia text can still be solved. In addition to uncertain Sharia text, Zani or texts that have multiple interpretations, which, which can also be unraveled. Ijtihad Jamai is the suitable method for addressing legal issues in today's society, particularly considering the challenge of finding a mujtahid mutlaq. In the present era, the Ijihad Jamai method is obsolete and utilizes proximity to truth and the collective achievement in formulating contemporary things. Not to be confused, there is a difference between Ijihad Jamai and Ijma, as Ijma necessitates the unanimous agreement of all ulama at the same time, whereas Ijihad Jamai permits the agreement of the majority ulama which fulfill the criteria for reaching a collective decision. Pros of collective ijihad First, ijihad jama'i represent ijma. The concept of ijma plays an important role in Islamic legal evidence as it represents the agreement of the majority of scholars on certain matters concerning the Muslim Ummah after the passing of Prophet Muhammad. Ijihad Jama'i serves as intermediary and platform for the formation of Ijma, as Ijma is the cause of Ijihad Jama'i. Some contemporary Islamic jurists consider Ijihad Jama'i as similar as Ijma, perceiving that whenever Ijma occurs, it is referred to as Ijihad Jama'i. However, it is important to recognize that the intermediary process and the ultimate objective are different. Ishihad does not occur in the absence of Ishihad Jama'i initiated by the jurist. Second, Ishihad Jama'i preserves national unity and solidarity. Abdul Karim al Fatih is a great method of individual Ishihad even when an individual possesses extensive knowledge and expertise. This is because one of the causes of division among the Muslim Ummah is due to individual Ijihad, leading to various schools of thought and groups. Ijihad Jama'i is part of the approach to unite the Muslim Ummah and serve as a solution to preserve their unity. Conversely, when Islamic jurists do not carry out Ijihad Jama'i to address the issue of the Ummah, it will result division and discord. Third, Ijihad Jama'i always open the door for Ijihad. It is more appropriate to adopt the approach of collective Ijihad involving a majority of ulama and experts specialized in their respective field of knowledge. This ensures that Islamic law is suitable for all circumstances including the time, place, and the people themselves. It plays a vital role in the development and applicability of Islamic law in various situations and during its development throughout the time. This is evident from the time of Prophet Muhammad. Ijihad Jamai served to formulate contemporary stick by involving ulama and experts from various fields of knowledge. Through this collaborative process, they come together to consult to consult action inside and complement each other expertise, leading to the establishment of legal ruling that addresses the complex legal issue of modern society. Collective ijtihad allows better accuracy in making fatwas, which is important as it can relate to the interpersonal relationship of the ummah in general. 
It is the collaborative effort of the multiple experts from different fields of expertise. They share their experience, their knowledge to create the best outcome for the Ummah. It allows the arguments to be more matured and developed, boosting the confidence of the Ummah and avoiding khilaf. Collective ijtihad is an irreplaceable instrument in solving the complex contemporary issues we are facing today. These problems are getting more complex and requires a broader understanding from different fields of expertise. However, the modern scholarship system is more into this, more into monodisciplinary. Uh, so we need the collective ijtihad to combine these disciplines to get a broader view of the whole problem and make a solution from it. Collective ijtihad has a systematic methodology pillars that needs to be fulfilled with order and these thorough stages will minimize mistakes and ensure its validity. The members joining will be strict strictly we will be qualified people only and this division of process will allow future scholars to make comprehensive reference to the previous cases done with this method. Cons of collective issue. First, it brings more disagreement than unity and consensus. Although it had often served in the past to widen the scope of this agreement more than to bring about unity and new consensus, there is a great need now for unity on issues that could be addressed most effectively through collective ijihad and legislation. The one collecting ijihad must be knowledgeable of the source of Islamic law and also know Arabic in order to consult the Quran directly. He or she must be an upright person of who is well informed about the conditions of society with the intellectual capacity to formulate independent opinion and judgment. Collective ijihad as a consultative process involving multiple scholars and experts can indeed lead to disagreement lead to diversity of perspectiveness expertise involved. Disagreement with, uh, within collective ijihad are natural and can arise when individuals have different opinions or interpretation of the source of Islamic law. It also comes with the challenges such as disagreement among scholars that need to be addressed in order the, to ensure the effectiveness and credibility of the legal system. Collective ijtihad may have interpretations that are inconsistent which leaves the ummah in confusion. This, uh, according to Islamic perspective, law can change according to the time, situation, and public interest. Uh, Muhammad bin Umar also stated that fatwas change because of the difference in understanding of the mujtahid the, when considering the real benefits uh, and also when considering the new norms of the society. Another disadvantage of collective ijtihad is that it is too time consuming and complex because it involves many scholars and this will make it unable to give fast response when faced with contemporary issues that are very distinct from addressed issues by previous scholars. This will make the development of principle of jurisprudence face difficulty uh, in keeping up with the dynamic time today. So in conclusion, collective ijtihad is an essential aspect in Islamic jurisprudence. It helps us in achieving the higher purpose of the divine sources. The pros should be conserved and better developed uh, while the cons should be better fixed. And it is to achieve the best instrument for the Ummah in getting a better guidance uh, from the divine sources and the Ummah should be united as one in terms of mind and heart to achieve the greatest effect as the vicegerent of Allah on earth.